Welcome to Cuenca. In this video, I'm going to share with you my favorite almuerzos. Now, almuerzos are a set lunch. You have usually a soup to begin, a choice of a main dish, and then a drink. Sometimes you get a dessert. In Cuenca, they have really maintained this tradition of having the almuerzo. It's usually a home-style food, and it's for people who work. They don't have a lot of time, but they want to eat really great food. So these are my five favorite almuerzos in Cuenca. So now I'm at a bit of a little quirky kind of spot. It's not right in the historic district core, but a little bit on the outside. And it has an almuerzo for $2.50. Now this place is called Animal de Chala Fan y Pero Almuerzo. And so, if you directly translate that, it kind of sounds weird. It's like a chalafin anim animal and uh, dog lunch. What it means is, is that this place has one hell of a chalafin and it has a pretty good lunch. And so that's what we're going to try, the pretty good lunch. And so this place became known for its chalafin, but also for its sense of humor. There are little signs everywhere that are just a little bit funny. This is kind of a place where you can joke around about uh, coming here. So it's an interesting spot. This place has people coming in ordering lots of takeout of big bags of chalofan and then a lot of people here. So we will see, is this just an average almuerzo or is this one of the best almuerzos in Cuenca? First up we have this huge bowl of caldo de bola. So calda de bola literally means a uh, ball soup, ball stew. And what it is, is they take a, like a hand size of green mashed plantain and they put it into a soup and then they simmer it just in this broth. It has uh, some cabbage in it and then also I see they've got a little bit of a, looks like a beef bone and it is all about this stock. So this is a huge starter, like plantain is a massive thing to get through. This is like a mini bolon de verde. And so this is really meant to be like a hearty soup, but really, as I said, it's all about this broth. Oh, this broth is good. This place is really popular and already with this soup, I can see why. It's 250, which is on the lesser side for an almuerzo. So usually it's 275, $3. 250, you would think maybe you're not gonna get as good food or maybe you're gonna get small portions. Not here. And then they gave us a little bit of this lime. So listen, if you see lime on your table, that means you're supposed to use it. <laughs> you know, try the soup, try your meal, but then you gotta put the lime on it because lime is just gonna make it taste so much better. And then this place also makes its own ahi, a sign of a great place. They really care about it. Now it's a bunch of like young guys working in the front, but don't let that deter you. Don't let that make you think, you know, the humor here that they're not serious about food. Mmm, ooh, really good tree tomato ahi as well. I'm gonna put some of this into the soup as well. This soup is so big. This is definitely something that if you wanna have lunch, you could split with someone else. I try that all together with a little bit of this cabbage. Mm. Already, the soup was good, but the heat and the lime make it so much better. So this is in the San Sebastian neighborhood, which is not the first place that the most tourists come, but it is where locals go. And so when you come in here, I'm the only person that's not from here. That's how popular this place is. It's so busy. Give yourself some time. This is not a quick turnaround place. Because they've got so many takeout orders and people eating on Muerzo, it's gonna probably take 10, 15 minutes for you to get your meal. Mm. But it comes out steaming hot, so good. The second came, it is so big, I am so shocked. This place is getting loud and busy right now. It's so busy. But the second plate came, I can't believe how much food is on here. That's why it's making this list of best lunches in Cuenca. So, originally we wanted the saco de pollo uh, chicken. It had already sold out and 
I think it's 12.30 right now. So we got the seco de costilla, which are pork ribs. Now seco is the name for a dish um, where you're gonna find meat in sauce. Sometimes you'll find it called al jugo, but basically it means it's in a sauce. Now if you speak Spanish, you're like, wait a minute, that doesn't make sense because seco means dry. Long story, I've explained it in many of my videos, but basically it was a misunderstanding of almuerzo. The English, the British, came to the coast and it was so hot there and they were being served this hot soup to begin lunch and so they were like, no, 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 we just want the second. But they didn't speak Spanish and Ecuadorians didn't speak English and so they thought they were just asking for seco. So many years ago that happened and so to this day, I think seco is the most popular dish in all of Ecuador. And while ensaboyado is the national dish, I think seco should be because you can find it at any restaurant especially in the Andes. Now we have the ribs and you always have two starches. So it could be like plantains and rice, plantains and potatoes, potatoes and rice. Right now we have french fries and rice and a little bit of salad. I'm just so shocked by these portion sizes. Mmm. These ribs are so tender, so meaty. This seco sauce is so tasty. So the reason why they give you so much sauce, you put it on the rice, you have a little bit of ahi, you put some of these pickled onions, tomatoes on it, mm, so good. This is definitely one of the best places for lunch in Cuenca. So here's a fun fact, did you know that in my last video, 72% of the people who watched it were not subscribed? So if you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, let me know in the comments below which um, where is the spot you'd like to go to. All right, so we are now at another spot, which is one of my favorites, also around the corner from Casa Cuencana, and is known as yet yeah, one of the most famous almuerzo spots in Cuenca, Ecuador. So the soup is the same. It's uh, sopa casera, which is like a home style soup that they make here. And then the second is a choice between a chili dog and uh, jugo de pollo. So that's jugo de pollo, jugo, pollo al jugo. Pollo jugo al jugo. Jugo de pollo is like you toss in like chicken <laughs> on a blender and then you drink it. Also. Okay. Know. Hugo, hugo the pollo is chicken juice. Pollo a hugo is chicken in juice. Or chicken in sauce. But really, it's probably gonna look exactly like a seco. Let's try this soup first. So, it's a thick kind of, almost looks like it's a vegetable soup. It's probably made with some chicken stock. I can see some rice in here, potatoes, green onion, and carrot. It's hot. I don't know if you can see the steam in front of me, but the food here is hot. Mm. Oh, it's got this rich broth, like it was made with chicken. Also, you know when you've got this, it's mote, you're in a good traditional spot, you put this in the soup for a little bit of extra texture. Mm. It gives a little bit of body to that soup, it's really great. These almuerzo spots, if you want to eat, you've got to get here right at 12 or here they're also open until three so you could come a little bit later but the danger of coming later is you might not get your choice of almuerzo so i recommend coming at 12. all right second course is up and it is pollo al jugo now i've heard some people say that uh, at altina the portion sizes are too small i personally think the food here is really high quality and it's enough food for a normal person. Like you get a soup and then you get this whole meal. If you wanna go get stuffed and that's your first priority, there are places that will just serve you like more potato and more rice to fill you up. And they might even be cheaper. Almorzos in Cuenca usually start at $2. Uh, they can go as high as $6.50, which is insane. Um, I would say the average is $275, $3 for a very good almuerzo. And I think the portion sizes here are absolutely fine. The food here, I've never had a bad meal. I've been here many times. This chicken looks so tender. Look at that, it's perfectly cooked. Mmm, boom, it's so good. 
It's in this light gravy sauce. They give you avocado, which is fantastic. A little side of this potato salad. Mm. And this here in any other restaurant will cost so much more. But here, $2.75 just for this meal. Definitely one of the best homewares in Cuenca. Okay, so one thing that I forgot is that it actually comes with dessert here. So $2.75. And this is like, I guess you would call like a two or three bite brownie, which is great. Again, I don't love dessert, but having something sweet at the end is really nice. I'll have a bite, Andreas will have the rest. And this whole meal was good enough for the both of us. Mm, oh yeah, it was good. So one of the first places I ever had almuerzo in Cuenca was at Moliendo Cafe. And that's because it's right around the corner from La Casa Cuencana. And it is known as one of the best almuerzos in all of Cuenca. And this place has been around here for 20 years and it's run by a Colombian family. Right now, almuerzo is $2.75 and it includes a drink, a soup, a plate. And because we're one of the very first customers here, we showed up at 12 o'clock, we actually got, I guess, like a, a special kind of plate. So to begin with, we have the soup. It's a lentil soup. And you can see here, it has lentils, it has potatoes. What's really interesting about this is this place serves something that you will find in homes in Colombia and Ecuador and South America, but you won't often see in restaurants. And that is, it's served with a banana. So in South America, in many countries, it's very common when you have your soup, you also have a banana. It's kind of like a replacement or how we would eat soup with bread, like a bread roll, but instead it's with a banana. So you have the savory soup and then you have this sweet banana. You'll see this, Andrea said, you know, it's something that you really only find at home. This is the only place he's ever seen it in a restaurant. Mm. The broth here is rich. It's thickened a little bit. It's got some potatoes. It's got some lentils. It's raining out right now. And so this is actually a really delicious soup to try. Mm. So from day one, Moliendo Cafe has been the number one pick when people ask at La Casa Cuencana where to eat. And that's because over the years, a number of tourists have come to the hostel and they may eat somewhere and then they share like, oh, I ate at this place or I ate at that place and my stomach doesn't feel very good. And a lot of that actually has to do with, you know, you go to a different country, there's different bacteria. However, this place is meticulously clean. And in the 17 years they've been here, not a single person has ever complained about the food here or being sick here. So that is actually pretty impressive. I don't know any other place that could claim that. Also, they are known to have some really interesting ahi. It smells freaking fantastic. I think it's like a roasted tomato ahi. That's what it smells like. It smells so good, like a pureed roasted tomato, maybe some peppers in there. It also looks like it might be a little bit spicy, so I'm just gonna try a little bit first. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, it's good that they give you a drink. I just put like maybe a quarter of a teaspoon, that's hot. Mm. What I love about this is it's so vibrant. You've got this purple cabbage. Of course, you've got a big portion of rice. And then we have estofado de res, which is a beef stew. All right, let's get to this estofado. And try a little bit, and then I want to try some of that ají. Mm, oh yeah. This is so good. I should have known it was gonna be good because the lentil soup was so good. Sometimes lentil soup is like bleh. This is like rich, stewed, beefy flavor. It's really good. And then I wanna try some of this ahi. I think it'll be great on beef. Mmm, oh yeah. It's spicy, but you still have that like comforting stewed flavor. This is an awesome place. I can really see why this is the number one pick. 
for Andreas and his family when people come here because it's not Ecuadorian food, but still very much in the almuerzo style that you will have here, and you get to try some different things. Now, the act of having an almuerzo is very much a Cuencano thing, and in the historic center, it played an important role. And that's because while Cuenca is considered to be one of the most beautiful cities in all of Ecuador, this colonial city wasn't always that way. In fact, it went through several years of gentrification, and at one point, no one lived and there were no businesses in the historic area. So tourists really didn't come here. But around 12 years ago, that really started to change. And the almuerzo, these restaurants that are offering this set lunch, had a very important role. Now, Tropical, they've been around since 17 years ago. So they saw it all. They saw the parts when it was a little bit rough and then they saw it, the really the beautification of it to what it is today. So this is a very traditional restaurant and we are having a set lunch. The first dish is sopa de fideos or it's a noodle soup. But if you're gonna serve no muerzo, if you're gonna charge for a very humble soup, you have to do it well. And they do that here. So how they make it is even though this is a chicken noodle soup, they use bow tie noodles and they are first sauteed, they're toasted in a pan and then they are put into the soup and cooked within the soup. So if you're going to get this soup, you need to look to see, do your noodles look a little bit toasty? Do they have that toasted brown color? If they do, that means these people care about the food. We also put in some mote con cascara, and that is the molte or the hominy that still has the husk on it. That is supposed to be extra nutrition. It's a very traditional way to eat molte, and you put it right in your soup. Mm. This is a fantastic soup. It's just rich stock. It has the molte, which gives it a bit of texture. Those noodles, which are toasted, and then of course, they've got some ahi, they make it here, it's the tree tomato ahi. Then put a little bit in here to start. Mm. They have fantastic ahi. All right, we're on to the second course and it is a big plate. So this is actually uh, a curry chicken. So it's a curry in a sauce, kind of like a seco. Of course, you've got a salad, a very humble salad, not very big. And then it is a tradition for almuerzo. so it's supposed to be filling. So you always have two starches. So in this case, I have rice and then I also have some beans. And so I'm going to try this curry chicken. It's sweet. It's sweet. Not spicy. I think there actually might be a little bit of money in here. Not like curry chicken at all. So I think when you go to a country where you're eating international food in a different country, you just don't have expectations that it's going to be like a curry. And we've got these beans. Mm, I love beans. Now, the really lovely thing about Tropical is that you also get a drink and it's three dollars so you get something a little bit extra because it's a little bit more pricey you get this which is a tres leche cake just a bite what I really like about almuerzos across Ecuador is when they serve dessert you just get a little something sweet not too much And so now we're at one of Andreas's favorite restaurants in Cuenca. It's called ZZ El Jefe or ZZ The Boss. It's Ecuadorian chifa. Now chifa uses the techniques of Chinese cooking but adapts it to Ecuadorian flavor. And the most iconic chifa dish in all of Ecuador is called chala fan. Now chala fan is kind of like fried rice but to Ecuadorian taste. So if you've had fried rice and it's got like the peas and the carrots in it, no, you're not gonna find that here. Fried rice here is fried rice with a lots of different kinds of meat and some shrimp. And so the reason we're here is they also have an almuerzo. It's from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's a little bit more pricey at $3.90, but it runs all day and it's a bargain. Now, Andreas is very, very picky about chow la fan. 
and we have eaten it all over Ecuador and I've never featured it in a video because he always says to me it is never as good as ZZ El Jefe. All right, so to begin, we have a chicken noodle soup, a little different than the traditional Cuencano chicken noodle soup. So this is done with uh, an actual, almost like a spaghetti noodle. And then it has this light broth, spring onion, and then this light chicken meat. Let's try the broth a little. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's a really nice, good, light broth. And some chicken. <laughs> just a really nice brothy soup to begin with super clean tasting it's very nice not too salty whatsoever if you wanted to add to it you could you could add a he you could add some of the salsa china or the soy sauce all right we are here for the main event we're here for the chalafan now as i said chalafan is fried rice it has shrimp on it different kinds of meat now this is a 390 almuerzo, so it's a little bit pricier on the almuerzo end. However, we've had the Chalafan main entree here before. It's packed with things, much more than this, and it's actually $5. So if you wanted to come here for almuerzo and you're two people, I would actually get just the plain straight up Chalafan, and that's $2.50 a person. And I promise you, you will be stuffed when you leave because it is such a big plate. But this is also, for one person, a very hefty plate of chalafan. Now on this, we have put both ahi, the hot sauce, and salsa china. Salsa china kind of is like soy sauce, but again, it's a little bit different in Ecuador because it's for Ecuadorian taste. So it's thicker and it's sweeter. So it's kind of like if you mix soy sauce with um, some sugar and some cornstarch. Mmm, mm-hmm. I love Ecuadorian food. I really do, I eat it every day. But there's something about chifa that combines the flavors from Chinese food at home in Canada with Ecuador that is just really nice. And actually, it's one of my favorite ways to eat rice. Mm. Join my Patreon community for more behind the scenes and exclusive content you won't find elsewhere. You can also find me on Instagram and be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. All of these things make my day. Thank you so much for your support.